All right, for this next part here, let's start adding some actions. Okay, let's get the player moving. Let's go to the player object, add event. I'm just going to use the arrow keys here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do when the player is created, a little bit of code, friction, point 0.2. That way when we let go of the keys, the player should slowly drag to a stop. Next one, keyboard, left arrow, a little bit of code, speed equals 4, direction 180 is left. Add event, keyboard, right, speed is 4. Direction is zero. Makes a move to the right. And now we know it'll eventually hit a wall. We don't want that uh, wall to pass through. So let's do collision with a wall. Speed equals zero. Maybe later we'll add a little sound that they're bumping. Okay, what can we do next? Player has to fire. Let's do a key press for this one. So they have to press the space bar every time. When the player presses the space bar, we have to make the blue laser. Now hopefully this command you're going to get good at doing because it's a very popular one in games. I'm going to call my laser Luke, instance, create at my X and Y position, create an object, laser blue. I'm going to tell Luke to set their speed to 8. I'm going to tell Luke to set their direction upward, because I'm always firing up, so 90. And... You might remember from that little video last lesson. The laser right now, as you can see here, is facing to the right. I need to turn the image. So image angle equals 90. It's perfect. Okay. You've probably heard my kid there. Canucks just scored a goal. He's very excited. Anyways, we got the laser going up. Now we probably also want to play a little sound. I don't have a sound in there yet. I'll touch up all the sounds at the end. Okay, so that has the laser going up. If we just give a little test here to make sure the stuff is working that we've put in. Looks good. Fire the space bar. Okay, and laser's firing up. Perfect. Now you see the lasers right now. They're going right through the wall. That's not really good. Technically, they're actually still moving somewhere. They're way up there, like at the ceiling now. So I'm going to make sure the lasers kill themselves when they hit the wall. So let's go to the lasers. Add event. Collision with wall. Now you may wonder if there's a specific order that I'm doing all these objects and events. Not really. It's just whatever I'm remembering I saw in the game, I'm trying to code in there. I'm coding inside the laser. It's hit the wall. So if I do an instance destroy, it destroys itself. Students also usually like this one. Effect, create above. This is on the cheat sheet. Not sure if you saw it in one of the videos before, but this command will make a nice little explosion. EF, explosion. At my X and Y, size 0 is a small one, and the color, let's just make it gray. So if you didn't get that whole line there, this is on the cheat sheet. You can basically do a copy-paste, and then destroy. Little test. Perfect. All right. 
when the ghosts get hit by my laser, ghosts collide with my blue laser. I need a little something to happen. Let's destroy both of them. So if I want to destroy the laser, the ghost is what I'm coding. The laser is the other object. So that's that with other statement we learned before. With other instance destroy. Okay, and now the laser's gone. The ghost also wants to destroy itself. So we can put a little instance destroy. And if you wanted, I guess you could also sneak in. A little explosion above. And we can color this explosion red. Again, all these commands I'm typing, they're all in your cheat sheet. Right? And you should be getting pretty familiar with them as you start to type them more and more. You'll just sort of almost have them memorized. So that's the ghost being destroyed. Now I'm trying to think, what else does the program have? Just give it a little play here. Player's moving. Player's firing. They hit a wall. They're stuck. And destroy the ghosts. And there's our red explosions. Perfect. Now what we have to add in the next video is we'll add the three sounds and the background sounds. Thanks for watching.